What is up YouTube? It is Drex and I am back with another video. So I want to talk specifically about God of War Ragnarok and the news with that. So we learned that it's going to be a cross-gen console with the PlayStation 4. So where you can buy it on PlayStation 4 when it comes out and it's also going to be delayed in 2022. So that's not an issue for me. And you no one, even the people who are uh, PlayStation fanboys or, or ponies or even PlayStation fans in general, they should not be worried about that, honestly. It, I mean, what's the worst that could happen with this? Keep in mind, God of War 2 came out on PlayStation 2 when around the time that the PlayStation 3 got um, released. So there was still, uh, the, not only did the PlayStation 3 gamers uh, have a chance to play God of War 2, PlayStation 2 gamers still had a chance to play it. So Sony is doing people a favor with that, honestly. That's how I personally feel. As far as it being delayed, that um, I'm not really concerned about that neither. Because I still got, I mean, me personally, I don't know about any other gamer, but I have a shitload of games in my backlog I still got to beat. And I still got to play and beat. Returnal is one of them. That Ratchet and Clank coming out, yeah, that's one of them. I still, you know, the Yakuza games, I'm playing uh, Judgment and uh, Like a Dragon. I still got a shitload of games I got to play. And I... I, you know, I, I probably after that, I'll still have more to play. I still play retro games, too, so I, I, I'll I be busy. You know, 2021 will be right before my eyes until, you know, I'll probably still be playing another game. So I don't see why, you know, that's a big concern. I know Sony pushed the narrative that there are four generations about new generations and stuff, and that, what I guess, God of War Ragnarok probably wasn't supposed, supposed to be. Uh, exclusive it was supposed to be a PlayStation 5 exclusive only like it was supposed to be cross-gen and I can probably like I said I could probably understand I don't know what specifically went on in Sony's head over that but I'm pretty sure they did that in favor of people who weren't able to get their hands on a PlayStation 5 but who are still playing on PlayStation 4 but you know little uh, you know my thing argument on that is is that you know that's a good that's good business that's good business regardless. I mean, yeah, the only PlayStation 5 game we have right now is Returnal, which is cool with me. Um, we have, um, I think, the rest of the PlayStation 5 games that came out for us uh, specifically are cross-gen. I, I know Sackboy, Miles Morales is, and Bug Sacks probably. But I hope I said that name right. But, yeah, I, I'm cool. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not complaining about it. I'm unbothered by it. You shouldn't be unbothered by it. Whoever is anticipating that game, just enjoy the game and, you know, go on about our day. Play, you know, PlayStation, just keep in mind, it hasn't been a year since the PlayStation 5 has been out anyway. So there's, you know, it's not going to be uh, exclusive games right away. You know, I just, I'm just going to be honest about it. So, other than that, this is Drex. I'm out.